Welcome to Share English. In today's video, we are going to look at a perfect technique for the read aloud questions. In read aloud, as you know, you have to read a text which is there in front of you. So you have to read it as naturally and as perfectly as possible so that you get a high score. One of the common mistakes which people make is when it comes to the pauses. So if you pause at the wrong place or if you don't pause at the appropriate places while reading the text, you will lose marks. So in this video, I'm going to give you a couple of simple rules where you need to pause while reading the sentence. There's no need to complicate it. There's no need to make it more complicated than that. Just follow the simple rules. Just pause at these few places and your response will come out very natural, very fluent. Let this be the sample sentence which we are going to use for looking at these pauses. Now, the very first place where you should pause is at the commas and full stops. So for a fraction of a second, you can pause at a comma and slightly more at a full stop. If this is the sentence, what you have to do as soon as the sentence appears in front of you on the screen, you can note down, you know, in the time that you have to prepare, just note down where the commas are where the full stops are and those are the places where you need to pause. Also several countries such as Canada, Italy and Australia had semi-independent spacefaring capability launching locally built satellites on foreign launches. So no need to complicate this further just look at the commas, look at the full stops and that's where you pause. So that is the very first thing as soon as the sentence appears in front of you on the screen, just look at where the commas are, where the full stops are and make a note of that. The second place where you can pause is at the conjunctions. So these are the connecting words such as and, but, etc. So for example, here in this sentence you have a but, so that means you can just pause here. So first speak, Canada had designed and built satellites in 1962 and 1965, but those were orbited using US launch vehicles. So similarly, you can also make a note of this and. Here you've got another conjunction. So these are the places in addition to the commas and the full stops where you need to pause. Now, sometimes you will have a number of these ands, buts, because, you know, these kind of conjunctions. So you don't have to pause after every couple of words. Then, you know, just pick maybe two or three conjunctions where you can pause and that would make you sound natural. So for example, you know, this is also an and in 1962 and 1965. But here, you know, we will not consider this because you, as a, as a rule of thumb, try to speak at least, you know, five or six words in one go to come out as fluent. If you pause lesser than that, then that again, you know, will make you sound hesitant. So, commas, full stops and conjunctions such as and and but. And the last place where you can pause is at logical midpoints. Sometimes you will notice that in certain sentences, they're quite long. They will not have um, any conjunctions. They will not have any commas, full stops. For example, this sentence. So I've slightly modified it to illustrate what we mean. Now this sentence says Canada had designed and built satellites in 1962 and 1965, orbited using US launch vehicle space facilities. So you can pause here at one place and then the other place, you know, just take a logical midpoint that anywhere in the middle, you know, you can pause where it sounds logical. So in this case, you know, after 1965, we still have six, seven words to go. So that was the right place to pause. 
So when you speak, you will speak like Canada had de de designed and built satellites in 1962 and 1965, orbited using US launch vehicle space facilities. So when the sentence is long and you don't have any commas or full stops or conjunctions at the right places, then you can just break that sentence at a logical point as we did just now. Okay, so those are the three places where you can pause. No need to complicate this further. <clears throat> Excuse me. At the commas, at the full stops, at the conjunctions, and at the logical midpoints in a long sentence. So simple rules. If you just keep these in mind and you follow them while constructing your response, I'm very sure you will come out sounding very natural and fluent. If you haven't checked sureenglish.com yet, make sure you go there. There's a lot of free study materials. There's a free PTE course you can take as well. And also look at the premium PTE courses that we have if you are seriously preparing for a high score in PTE academic. All the best for your PTE preparation. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye.